Can you hear how crispy this is? Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a wagashi beer buttered panko crusted sandwich and we're going to be needing some wagashi of course, some roasted garlic, some mushrooms, some cut lettuce, the butter of course, and then some kebab powder. So the first thing that we want to do is to slice our wagashi. I got my wagashi from Tasty Alternatives. Check her out on Instagram she makes the best wagashi that I know and the form in which it is makes it really easy for me to slice So you're just going to slice that not all of them are going to be equal, but that's okay We're going to be boiling them in some salt water before we actually fry so that shouldn't be too much of a problem You can slice them as thick or as thin as you want but I would say that don't slice them too thin because once we get to boiling, you're going to understand why. We're going to put some water in a pot, put some salt in there, and then let that come to a boil. Once the water has started boiling, we're going to put our wagashi slices in there and then just leave that for about two to three minutes. The reason I do this is because one, I want to make sure that we're actually cooking the wagashi and two, we don't want to, when we've buttered and crusted the wagashi, that it stays in the oil way too long. We just want to get a nice crust on it with the inside already being cooked. Now, the thing with cooking the wagashi like this is once it's boiling in the water, the consistency changes a bit. So it becomes very wobbly, so to speak. When you're taking it out, you want to be careful. However, once the cooked wagashi has cooled down, it gets back to being quite firm so that's not something you have to worry about after the thing to to be aware of is that before you put it in the butter make sure that it's cool so next up we're going to prepare our butter and if you've watched my beer buttered shrimp recipe then there is already a recipe for how to make beer butter for this one we're also going to be adding some kebab powder or some suya powder now this is a blend of roasted groundnuts and onions and chili powder and some other things. I bought this ready-made. I did not make this myself, but there are a number of recipes online if you want to make that yourself. Next step is to put the cooked wagashi slices into the butter and then into the panko and then put that straight into some hot vegetable oil. Now all we want to look out for is that we're getting a beautiful golden brown crust on the wagashi and that's all there really is to it. So just make sure that you're watching, make sure that you turn it over and just generally watch for it not becoming too brown. So once that is all done, you're going to put it on a uh, paper towel just to make sure that you've drained any excess oil. And then once we've done that, we're actually ready to assemble the sandwich. Now for this sandwich, I'm going to be adding some additional pickled onions, some mushrooms, as well as some cut lettuce and a sauce that I mixed together. Now the sauce is a mixture of vinegar, some olive oil, some mustard, some yogurt, and some herbs. We're also going to be adding some roasted garlic. That's really simple. Just pop the garlic into the oven and wait until they become soft. So you're just going to put all of those things in there, mix together. Of course, make sure that you're seasoning with salt and black pepper and white pepper if you have that. And then just mix that together to get a really nice thick sauce. If you want your sauce to be a bit more loose, you can add some more olive oil. But for me, particularly for this one, you don't want it to be dripping down the sides of the sandwich necessarily. So this consistency is fine. Some cut lettuce on the bottom, just without any additional thing, that is perfectly fine. And then we're going to put our wagashi on there, add some of the sauce, 
add the pickled onions and then add some of the mushrooms now for the mushrooms I have a post up on gingerandseasol.com where I did some uh, mushrooms on toast and these mushrooms are similar to that except that for this one just to make them a little more juicy I added a bit of a slurry and so that's basically if you want to replicate these mushrooms you can do that just check out that recipe add a bit of a slurry let that cook down for a bit and then you've got really nice succulent mushrooms and so you can see that is all ready to go just put the other half of the bread or of the bun on there and that is our wagashi sandwich ready to go when i tell you that this is absolutely absolutely amazing it tastes really really nice and the wagashi is very crunchy you you almost do not know that this is wagashi it's really really good um, if you want to try this, it's actually also very easy to replicate. You can't do too much wrong. Absolutely amazing. As usual, this recipe is up on gingerandseasalt.com. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Happy eating!